Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. Today we're gonna to be looking at something that I thought was interesting. This is a Watchman product, and it's basically an SE Zula 2, I wouldn't say clone or knockoff, but it's damn similar, damn similar. And I've never owned an SE Zula 2, even though I am a huge fan of SE products. I have multiple, but I've always been interested in the Azula and the Azula 2, but I just can never pay their high prices until I stumbled upon, upon this guy. And yeah, let's take a look at this guy. First off, you get a real nice Kydex sheath that I dropped. And it does come with like a little tech lock. It's not a real tech lock, but it's a, it's a smaller version of a knockoff tech lock. There is no secondary lock, which the tech lock has, but still pretty cool. Not a bad carry option. At least it comes with it. And you got to remember this whole package is $31 and 99 cents on Amazon. Freaking crazy. Um, so yeah, pretty cool sheath works good. The problem with this is, is there is a lot of rattle, a lot of rattle, but uh, a little bit of heat tighten this up right here and, and you'll be fine or you can just deal with it um, I'm sure you could probably run this vertically or horizontally up to you has real good retention it's not coming out at all ever so that's good nice sheath it's always appreciated the box who cares about the box it's just your box this thing is made in China I believe doesn't say here's what it says it's your watchman W, see, here's the thing. When you look at that W204D, and you look at the knife, WF204. So I don't know the exact model number of this guy, but we're going to go with what's on the knife and call it the WF204. But standard box, nothing special, no literature, no nothing. We're going to chuck that after this video. But Let's get into this. So this is, if you want to compare it to an SE Azula 2, they're very damn similar. I think this one is just a quarter inch longer. The SE Azula 2 is six and three quarters. The Azula is six and a quarter. And this thing I believe comes in right at seven. Check it out. Just a hair over seven inches. So here's your SE 3. Here's your uh, Watchman, and here's your SE4 for size comparison. The Azula, the actual Azula 2 will just be a hair smaller than this, but honestly, if you look at it, I'll put the picture in right here, they're pretty damn similar. And like I said, the Azula 2, over $100. They do offer them with scales. I think you can get them without scales too, but this already has the scales on it. It's 31 freaking dollars. I can't get over that. Uh, Decent, decent thickness stock for the size of the knife. I believe we're looking at about an eighth an inch here. And it's 14C28N. This was the main reason I bought this knife was because uh, a friend of mine, what's the point EDC? I'll put his information below. Uh, he loves 14C28N. And honestly, I've had zero experience with it. So I purchased this knife just to do edge retention tests. And who knows, maybe I'll love this stuff. He does tell me that it's almost as strong as CPM3V. Now, from the charts, I don't see that. I see it's about on par with uh, with OS8 and stuff like that. And uh, a couple other steels. I'll put the chart in here. But I mean, still, it's a relatively tough steel. And supposedly, this thing will take a real fine edge and hold it for a long time. So I guess 14C28N is a... Uh, was a knife designed steel and if it's as long as it's heat treated right it should hold up pretty damn well now i'm not sure what's going to happen if i thin this edge out <clears throat> uh cedric nada or whatever his name i can never get get his name right but on his knife test he put a real real fine edge on this like i think it was like 10 degrees each side and did a test with it it didn't do that well and then he put a micro bevel on it and it did fantastic so it does hold its edge really good so that'll be determined but let me show you how sharp this thing came out of the box because it's freaking crazy so yeah this is 
100% factory edge. I have done nothing to it and pretty, pretty freaking sharp for a factory knife. I mean, especially for a $31 factory knife, pretty, pretty damn sharp actually. You know, so that, that's pretty good for, for this knife. Very, very, very sharp for a factory edge. Now, even that being said, if you look at the bevel here, look at that tip right there. When you flip it over, it's not a perfect bevel. It could definitely use some work. We have a, definitely a smaller bevel on this side than we do on this side, but that's an easy fix. I believe this thing is Rockwell somewhere around 58 to 60. And... I'm not sure what the optimal is for 14C28 in, but we're gonna try it out. And when we do the edge retention test, I'm probably gonna be doing it on these two knives because they both have similar stock, similar grinds. And if you were looking at the SE Azula 2, this would be your other option. You know, the next step up is the SE 3. So we'll do that. And so I'm curious to see how many cuts this one will do compared to this guy right here. So I'll know how 14C28 in does against 1095 and S35VN. So that'll be an interesting one. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. Stay tuned. Cool little knife. Thanks for watching.